Today we're going to be taking a look at assignment operators and the reason I want to make this video is because I don't want you guys to get it confused with variable repetition which is something we saw earlier on in this series. Variable repetition looked at what would happen if we were to assign two numerical values or two or more numerical values to one uh, defined variable. So let's go ahead and take a look at what would happen. Say we said that x is defined as integer data and we assigned the numerical value of 5 to it and then we were to go ahead and print out x and then down here we were to assign the numerical value of 10 which is different than 5. Remember you don't write integer again if you were to do this which you probably shouldn't be doing this anyway but if you were to do it you don't write integer again it'll give you an error because you already defined it as an integer so you don't need to do it again. Your system is pretty smart. Now say we were to go down here and write this. Now which one would we be printing out, right? We know that the most recent value is going to be taken. So this one's going to print out 5, and this one's going to go ahead and print out 10. We can go ahead and build and run this to take a look at this to confirm our suspicions. And we see right there, that's how it is. You know, you only have room in that memory that you said was going to be integer memory. You only have room for one value, right? You don't, you can't put 5 and 10 in there. You have to pick one of them. So it's going to take the most recent one. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I don't want it to be confused with what I'm going to show you guys right now. So say we were to have this up here, right? We're going to say that x is going to start off as a 5. Now, what if I were to go down here and put a plus sign in front of the equal sign or the assignment operator, I should say, not the equal sign. Uh, what would happen if I were to do this and print it out? So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now we're going to see that up here we are still going to get 5 and down here we're going to get 15. This means we are going to be adding whatever value we have here to the value that we have currently stored for x, which was 5. So we're not going to be replacing it with 10, we're actually going to be adding 10 to it. And we have all of the variations of this available to us. We can put a subtraction symbol here and we can run the same thing. And we'll find that we're going to go and we're going to get 5 on top because that's what we have up here. And down here we're going to get negative 5. We can go ahead and look at it for multiplication. Let's do the exact same thing. And we'll see we're going to get 50. We can go ahead and do it with uh, division. And we're going to see we're going to go get 0 here. Wait, what happened? You know, what, what just happened there? Why 0? We know that, you know, 5 divided by 10 is not 0. Now remember something. Just want to keep your minds fresh here. Remember, if you divide 5 by 10, it's essentially dividing 1 by 2, right? It's a half. Now, that half is 0 0.5. Are we allowed 0 0.5 in integers? No, we're not. So I just wanted to remind you guys of that. Now, remember, we could also have the modulus operator. What if we were to go ahead and put the modulus operator right here, which would be looking for the remainder. In that case, we see we're going to get 5 down here. We looked at the modulus operator already. So I want you guys to consider this. If we were to go ahead and put something in front of the uh, assignment operator when we were to, uh, say, reassign a different value to a, a variable, remember, it's not going to just replace that. It's going to actually add it to it, either addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or the remainder with the modulus operator. So just want to put this out there so you guys just know what's up. I want to make sure I cover everything, and this was necessary to cover. Although it might be small, it is still important. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will get a new video coming up right away.